It's Tuesday, September 17th. I'm Alex Mahadavan, here to report the daily headlines. Local authorities determine a bomb threat made in reference to Fruitville Elementary last night was not credible. The Sarasota County Sheriff's Office received a tip about explosives at the school before 9 p.m. yesterday. Sheriff's Office spokeswoman Wendy Rose said authorities have no reason to believe the person who made the call has been in the area. With time running out on an agreement to build the State Street Garage, Sarasota City Commissioners continue to debate possible designs. Commissioners asked for more site plan options from the City's Urban Design Studio during a meeting yesterday. City Attorney Bob Fournier urged commissioners to act expeditiously so the plan can meet a time-sensitive agreement with Pineapple Square. Speak now, or for the next fiscal year, hold your peace on the Manatee County School District budget. The Manatee County School Board will vote to adopt its 2013-14 fiscal year budget in a final public hearing tonight at 5.45 p.m. Mar Vista Dockside restaurant and pub owner Ed Childs' frustration with Longboat Key planning continues. Longboat Key attorney Maggie Mooney Portal postponed a hearing for the restaurant's expansion plans in front of the Planning and Zoning Board that was planned for this morning. Longboat Key Town Commissioners veered into talks about canals and cop cars during a meeting yesterday evening. Though not on the agenda, commissioners voted to earmark $356,000 for new police vehicles and equipment. The change will siphon $100,000 previously tapped for beach management and canal dredging. The Ice House in the Rosemary District is about to get its groove back. Sam Alfstad has high hopes for the Rosemary District's future development, which is why he's opening up an 8,900 square foot contemporary gallery and exhibition space at 1314 10th Street. And now, from the Business Observer, a Tampa assisted living firm expands into Bradenton. Validus Senior Living has purchased Hidden Lakes Living in Bradenton as part of its push into the region. The Ringling Bridge photo contest is coming down to the wire. Voting for the online photo contest ends this Thursday at midnight, so make sure to vote for your favorite photo of the iconic Sarasota landmark by visiting yourobserver.com. Click on the contest tab at the top of the page. A local high school reaches a sweet milestone. Sarasota high school students and faculty celebrated the school's 100th birthday during a celebration yesterday that included cake after classes. And Braden River Elementary students had a spirited celebration of their own Monday night. Students, parents, and teachers met at Chick-fil-A for Spirit Night. A portion of proceeds collected will be donated back to the school. Some Fruitville Elementary students showed off their dads during classes this morning. Dads spent the morning at Fruitville Elementary with their kindergartners and first graders for Take Your Dad to School Day. Dads helped their sons and daughters during activities before leaving at 9 a.m. For more information and an in-depth look at these stories and more, go online to yourobserver.com daily, like us on Facebook, and follow The Observer on Twitter. And pick up a copy of The Longboat in East County Observer Wednesday and The Sarasota Observer and Pelican Press Thursday. And for more videos and fresh local content, go to The Observer YouTube page and press subscribe. You, your neighbors, your neighborhood.